Hi guys, this is Miss Navarro, and today I have an incredible story that talks about the different ways animals move. This story is called Move, M -u -v -a, Move, and it is by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. So we're gonna learn a little bit about the different ways animals move. Move. Animals move in different ways. They swing. A gibbon swings through jungle trees. Or walks on the two back legs. A jacana walks on floating lily pads. Animals can walk. They also dive. It can then dive in the water to catch a fish. A blue whale dives deep, deep, deep. D, I, V. They can swim. It can swim below ocean waves or like an armadillo swims across a stream. W -i -m. swim. It can leap, and when startled, the armadillo leaps straight up. A crocodile leaps to snag its meal. And after slithering silently into the water, a snake slithers through rustling leaves and animals slither. Can you say slither? S slither. They also climb. A snake climbs up into a tree and a praying mantis climbs on a beta blade of grass. Have you ever climbed before? K-U-I-M-B. They also fly. The praying mantis then spreads its wing and flies. A roadrunner flies, but doesn't fly too far. Fly, fly. Run. Animals also run. It would rather run to catch its prey, a roadrunner would. An arctic hare, hare runs across the ground. Run. run. Then dances tumbling with its mate. A jumping spider dances to impress. Animals dance too. Then it floats away on a thread of silk. Animals can float. Ooh, oh, a polar bear floats in the dark icy water. and slides down a snow-covered hill. A penguin slides, splash, into the sea. These animals slide. S-l-i-d-a. And waddles with its colony. Penguins waddle. W-a-d-d-o.
Animals move in different ways. They waddle, slide, float, dance, run, fly, climb, slither, leap, swim, dive, walk, and swing. How about you? How do you move? The end. Okay guys, we are going to jog our memories a little bit and we are going to draw six different ways that we just learned animals move. So you're gonna need a sheet of paper and the first thing you're gonna do is fold it hot dog style. So fold it hot dog style, just like so. Oops, mine's a little crooked. Make sure yours is even on the edges. You're gonna fold it hot dog, hot dog style and then you're gonna fold half of it in just to the center like that half of it in and then you are going to fold the other half of it over when you unfold it you should have six different boxes one two three one two three four five six As you can see, Miss Navarro got a Sharpie and outlined her six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna turn off my fan. So we are going to think back to the story and um, it's kind of convenient that this is a video because you can rewind the story to rewatch it. And we're gonna think of six different ways animals move. So if I look back in the story, one way that caught my eye was sliding. So what I'm going to do is at the very top of my first box, I'm gonna write the word slide, because that is one way animals move. So spell slide with me. S, 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 l, 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 i, i, d, 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 d. And then what goes at the end to make I say its name is an E. So I know an animal, I know animals slide, and I can look back in the story and I can find which animals we learned about that slap, that slid, slide. So when I look back in the story, I saw that a penguin slides, it says that a penguin slides splash into the sea. So what I'm going to do is draw a picture of a penguin sliding in this box where I have written s o i d e. So as you can see, Miss Navarro drew a penguin sliding into a body of water. So the next thing I'm going to think of is another way we learned that animals move in the story. So as I, as I said, you can go back into the story to see different ways animals might move. But one that's sticking out to me is running. Animals run. We learned about an animal that runs to catch its prey and it is called a road runner. Road runner, very good. So in my next box, I'm going to write the way the road runner moves by writing the word run. Er, uh, mm. Run. R-U-N, run. Very good. Now I'm going to draw a picture of a road runner running to get its prey. As you can see, I've drawn a road runner running to get its prey. Now I'm going to think of another way in the story that we learned about how animals move. What is another way? No, fly. We learned about animals that fly. O, I, Y, F, L, Y would be fly. Who remembers what animal we learned about that flew in our story? We learned about a praying mantis that spreads, spreads its wing, wings and fly after they climb. We learned about a praying mantis. So you could draw a praying mantis or you could draw a bird flying, but you need to draw an animal flying. Another way we learned that animals move was what? We learned about a, a slithery snake. And we learned about that snake and how it slithers and climbs up into a tree. So the next thing I'm going to write is climb. C-O-L-I-M-B. 
L I N B B climb climb and I'm going to draw a picture of a snake climbing into a tree or you can draw another animal climbing somewhere else if you have a better idea so I'm going to write climb who can think of another way animal moves we have two more ways I remember a way we learned about a spider and somehow it does something to impress its mates. What's something a, a spider does to impress its mate? We learned about a spider that dances. A spider jumps and dances around. And so in my next box, I'm going to write the word d dance. D, d a, 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 n, n, s, c, e, dance. We learned about a spider dancing. So in this box, I would draw a spider dancing and jumping around to impress its prey. And the last thing we learned, or another way rather, that we learned animals move is what? Ooh, I think I can think of a really good one. We learned that animals tend to do something in water to move around. What do animals do in water? Very good, they swim. That is totally a way animals move. So in my last box, I would write the word swim. Can you help me spell swim? S, 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 s w, 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 I, 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 M, M, swim. Now, what animal in our story did we learn that was a big blue animal that swims in the ocean waves, swims below the ocean waves? What animal did we learn about? Yes, we learned about a great, <clears throat> excuse me, a great big whale, a blue whale that dives deep into the water and swims. You could write dive if you prefer that, d i v uh, dive, or swim. So under the swim column, I would draw a picture of a whale or an animal that swims. So, Ms. Navarro has not finished her work yet, so I will finish mine and upload it to the Facebook page, but I would like you to fill out six different ways animals moved that we learned from the story. I can't wait to see your work.